Alright, what's up grappling fans? We're rolling up on Art of Jiu Jitsu now. Chase has still got his little sandals on. He's showing his little tootsies everywhere we go. His little toes have been all over the world. And so have you guys if you're watching the Road to Worlds. Alright, so the training's getting started here at AOJ. First of all, just the class size here is absolutely huge. Gi said that usually they have around like 100 people every class on the mats, so Gi split up the, split up the classes to, uh, to have people on the secondary mats and also here on the main mats. But they're starting things off with just uh, the guy on bottom getting his preferred grips, getting some sweeps in back and forth, and then they're gonna move into some drills. But. Reaction, okay. I want you guys to tell your partner, okay. If you guys feel the person is going too easy and letting you do everything, then you guys tell them to go a little bit harder, okay. Adjust the intensity based on uh, how you guys want to train. The drill now is going to start from the, the leg drag. As soon as you hit the hip, the person will start reacting, okay. The technique that we have been working the person pushing and posting the elbow. Your goal is to either pin the shoulders on the mat and stabilize that control or take the back. So, start one. You guys can get any position to start the sequence. The goal is to get here. As soon as you get here, the person's posting the arm and pushing you, okay? From this position, you either pin the shoulders on the mat and stabilize side control, or you find a way to duck under the arm and go to the back, okay? Remember, if you guys feel that the grip is choking you, you guys are having trouble because you're trying to push forward and that grip is choking you, you switch sides, okay? So if I'm here and getting choked, I switch sides, look how my head goes to the other side and then adjust the position. Then you continue the same work trying to stabilize that control or take the back, okay? Let's go, one, two. work has been done like a lot of the people here they competed like multiple times uh, before this event right now we're working on back attacks and uh, this is like basically the trademark for uh, what we do here like most of our sweeps or, or uh, passing like they end up in the back attack so uh, it's very important to be sharp in that in the finish I think one, one thing that it's good too, like the lower belts training with the black belts they are competing for uh, for the world title, I think it brings them close to that goal. It's something that I always talk to them about like raising your level to, to the black belt level. It doesn't matter if you're blue, yellow, it doesn't really matter, it's all about getting to that level. And uh, like a good example here, like you have a juvenile blue belt like drilling with, uh, with Cole. Like it, one is winning in the blue belt juvenile and the other one is winning in the brown belt. So when you have like that same goal, but like in different phases of their career, but like working together, both helping each other to accomplish the goal, it's, uh, it's incredible. Uh, feeling great. Uh, just an another camp for an another big competition. But uh, to me, it's just uh, one more step. Uh, I know that this will be like the biggest tournament of the year, so it's been a year-long preparation for this, and uh, we never really, we never really come off the gas. It's just uh, hard training all year round, so there's no, no season uh, here at AOJ, and uh, the focus has just been raising the level as high as I can, and just to prove that uh, I'm the best in the division, and uh, I'm getting closer to the black belt. 
and uh, I know that that's inevitable. The, the, more I, the more I keep training, the more I keep raising my level, uh, the more I keep proving myself in competition and gaining this experience, uh, my level is going to raise naturally. Uh, so, so that's kind of been the goal these last two months. He has his days. Oh man. Has his days. Trust me, this is like it's like the only day he went show on me because man, he it's like flying on bars, like stack, making me pass out, you know, all these all this it's all it's all this it's this style. I had to bring the OG call out. Flying submission, Kimura. Man, I'm inspired. Flying bars. I'm inspired by this guy. I used to watch him when he was like a yellow and black bull. Man, he would like Five second fights, like start the fight, kid with pool guard, flying on bar, like man, inspiration to everybody. And right there now, right there now, man. Right there now, right there now. 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 there and this playing good Right there and and I feel like the, these titles that I've got throughout the year, They've been great for me, for my confidence and, and everything, just to show that everything I've been working on. What do you think about uh, Tyru Atolo joining this division? I, I get more excited to fight people that I haven't fought with yet. You know, so I look forward to matches like this. Um, he's, a, he's a great athlete, but he's been a great uh, fighter with the no-gi scene, you know, staying active just the same way I stay active in the gi. And whenever you guys get to watch uh, a clash like this happening, um, everybody's gonna enjoy it, you know, and, and I, I'm sure both of us will enjoy it the moment that we have on the match sharing that 10 minute or however long it goes. Uh, it will be great for sure. You guys are in for a treat. <laughs> That's my train for the day. <laughs> What do you got going on here, Maisha? Down here. I was getting beat. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're Sinistra now. Yeah, huh? now I'm Sinistra. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Just this side. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Right on. <laughs> Uh, first pick. Cool. See, he has a bad luck guy. Nobody wants him in the team. He gets he gets in the team. The, lose, the team loses. <laughs> Picking uh, team Argentina versus team Australia. I think it's gonna be. Every day we got a team fight over here. And uh, main representative from Argentina, okay. Brazilian national champion, two-time world pro champion, <laughs> the legend, the myth himself, Pablo Lavaselli. Who is the coach of Australia? I don't know, Talisson. Talisson, right? Half Brazilian, half Australian. <laughs> <laughs> expectations about your team? Man, Quick expect expectations. I think it's going to be a tough round, a tough battle, but I think Argentina's going to get the victory. And wait, in Spanish now, because we got, we, got, we got Latinos too. <laughs> okay, okay. We have Argentina and Australia. Argentina is very strong. We come to win the Mundial of Football, so we're going to win the Mundial of Jiu-Jitsu. Team Maradona. I'm the coach here for the Team Australia. How do you, how do you feel about your uh, team's chances? Here? Yeah, we're going to win. Okay. <laughs> is there any strategy or anything? Uh, the only strategy is to win. That's the only strategy. <laughs> it's a good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So much, much, much. World Cup here. Ready? Go.
I was not born to be a referee, man. Like, I, I get mad at them. Three zero, three zero Argentina with submission in there. Was Scaloni, Scaloni the Jiu Jitsu. Was. Alex, bro, what happened to the strategy? Did not work. <laughs> Did not work my strategy. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. All right, that's a wrap here at Art of Jiu Jitsu. Hope you guys have been keeping up uh, from home, but uh, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Well, give us a sign off, Chase. <laughs> There's Gee Mendes. Give us a sign off, Gee. We're just ending the video right now. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you for coming. I had a great time. Now we're gonna work out taking this guy. One double gold that the Europeans and Pans. It's gonna get double gold at Worlds now. Oh, see sweet. you guys there. Thank you. There you go. You heard it from the man himself. Class is done, but the work remains. Gonna work out and come back later. We're done though. <laughs>